And Coach Terry Walsh joins us live here on Times Now. Coach, uh, thanks for talking to us. Every time we speak, we are all optimistic about Indian hockey, but the impasse seems to continue. First up, congratulations to, uh, for the success in Australia. But tell us, why does this impasse remain? Why is it that you have quit today? Well, we've had uh, lots of discussions over the, over the last few days and uh, I think that uh, uh, the, the most important piece in all of this is that the level of play that our team is able to achieve at the moment and uh, I think that that always has to be kept at the forefront. Where we are with the discussions, we're talking about some change and change is n never easy. We understand that change is never easy and we're talking about implementation of change in several of these uh, suggestions that have been made. Uh, that's what's taking all the time. Um, I think we've made a lot of progress in the last uh, day or the last 24 hours uh, or 12 hours, um, uh, but we've put the basis in place uh, in the previous uh, set of meetings that have gone on. But we have met a lot. We have spoken about all this and what I can say is that SAI, uh, the Government of India, have worked really hard in trying to push these forward and I think that we've now got Hockey India uh, aligned as to where we want to go and uh, let, let's see. Let's see what happens over this next little period and see what comes out of it. But yes, I'm, uh, I'm now finished, officially finished. I'm no longer the coach of the team, but in this hiatus in the next few days. But what's brought about this hiatus, Terry? Because if everything is positive and uh, there is progress that's happening and you're, you're happy to see that, uh, what's the, what is the sticky issue? What's the well, sticky point? Look, the, 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 the progress is, is being made, but for me, I was at the point where I'd finished and now this has all changed around in, the, in this last little period so I have to come to grips with all of that and see whether or not this actually the changes that have been brought actually fit what I want to do. I'm not going to do this just because um, the changes seemingly have been made uh, unless they fit um, because I know that uh, in three months or six months or twelve months time uh, we don't want to be going through, I don't want to be going through this. This has been a horrendous year from the point of view of, of commitment uh, and tournament and training it's just been very hard on the players equally hard on all the staff and, and our personnel so uh, it's a traumatic time at the moment I understand that we've got another tournament coming up in just a few weeks uh, but we've got to get this settled and we have to get it settled very quickly and I hope to do so within the next 96 hours you had last time we spoke you had spelled out you had spelled out a few issues Terry uh, but uh, can you tell us this time around where is it that it hinges and I'm going to be asking you a straight for a question up front. Is Terry Walsh playing hardball now? Or, uh, is he being unreasonable? Or, no. or, 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 or do you believe you're, you're on the right side of what you think you're asking them? Well, I think we've been making some changes and the changes are, are to do with operational changes. Um, and so they're not, they're not necessarily changes that affect me. The one change that affects me significantly is the change of being able to work in a remote location. That's, that, that's the piece that, 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 that there is change in. How many days that's going to work out, I've heard all sorts of things about extra leave. It's not about leave, it's about working from a remote lo location. Um, we know that we, we don't get 30 days, to be quite honest, of leave because it just doesn't work in programs. This year it's been horrendous. Even though I've been out of the country mm. for longer than that period, um, we know it doesn't work that way and we don't expect it to. We just want to have the opportunity to be able to maximise our processes of work. True, and you had spelled this out the last time around too, and I remember you said you're a high-performance coach and you don't need to be physically present all the time around, but you continue to work. And there was some, uh, you know, uh, they were open, both Narendra Batra and the Sports Authority of India were open to that logic. So, you still believe there is a window open? Are you still optimistic? Yes, yes, I am. I'm far more optimistic today than I was yesterday, but interestingly, all this happens in the last moment. This is, uh, but this is, just seems to be the way, and uh, I know it's the way in India, and that's part of the piece that doesn't work in high performance preparation. You have to be, uh, as, as a general rule, much more able to, you know, to, to plan all of this so that you know where you're going and what you're doing. And when it's, when it's right at the last moment, yes, you have to deal with that, but you don't want that to be the norm. You want, to, want that to be the, uh, the rare occasion. Well, that's something that's going to be very difficult to change, Terry, but let's hope it's all for, all, all for the good. But, but by how soon are you hoping this will be resolved 
And are you going to be staying put in India or are you making your way back to Perth? I, I'm giving myself four days. I need to see what the the, uh, the actual contractual setup is in the next uh, hopefully 24 to 48 hours, and then have a decision um, within uh, within that four day period. That's that's the the base number of days. Um, we've got things in place to cope with that mechanism. I'm talking with Roland uh, Altman as the uh, High Performance Director and I'll be again talking with the players because that's changed since this morning when I last spoke with them. You, you know, two more questions to you. The first one, back in September when we had the chat, when this first impasse had to happen uh, before you went to Australia, compared to that, where you're sitting today, do you believe that uh, the Sports Authority of India and Hockey India have far more embraced your vision of how you want to take hockey forward? Yes, I think so. I think that uh, from my perspective, I think that we've been able to bring some change. I went to a point where I didn't think it was even possible and quite frankly, 24 hours ago, I didn't think there was any chance at all of any solution. So I'm really, really pleased, but my brain is scrambled <laughs> at the moment. My mind is scrambled and that's why I need to change. Uh, and I'm, I, I, I'm wise enough to know when it's, uh, when it's in a state like that. True, and I know, and given your experience and uh, your wisdom, you, you are wise enough to know that. But quick question on the Champions Trophy, just tearing us down the barrel at this point in time. How, how good are the boys and is this going to affect the preparations of the team, whatever is happening on the sidelines, coach? Look, at, uh, there's always things happening on the sideline. This is an unusual one. It's another hurdle. Uh, it's just put in a different part of the ground. Um, the, the, we will cope. Uh, this, playing at the very highest level of competition is about coping. It uh, doesn't matter whether you've got injuries or you've got uh, situations that occur. You've got to be able to cope. And uh, this group is becoming very, very strong from that perspective. And I think it's becoming more confident. And I think the self-belief within the group is continuing to grow. And that's they're the elements that we want to see continue in this tournament. That um, it's a very difficult, we're ranked number seven out of an 18 tournament. Mm. That, that, that's very positive and, and the performance in Australia should be, uh, they should give them, uh, boost their morale quite a bit. Yeah. For, you know, for a final question to you, coach. How, how confident in terms of percentage, is it a 50-50, 60-40 that we would see you sitting at the coach's corner at the Champions Trophy? Well, I hope, I hope it works. I really hope it works um, because I, I think that the generation of what we've done uh, has been very productive and I think that's very positive for hockey in India. Uh, let's just see where we go. Um, I can't give you a percentage. I wish I was, uh, I was able to do that, but I can't. But what I can tell you is that I'm much, much more pleased with the situation today than I was yesterday. Coach Terry Walsh, thank you so much for talking to us. We really appreciate the way you're very, uh, you know, matter of fact and, and you call a spade a spade. And let's hope it all works out good for Indian hockey and for all of us. Thank you so much for talking to us.